welcome back to my rant you guys it's me again i'm back remember to like subscribe and turn on notification bells for this channel we're gonna be bringing in more juice more celebrity gossip entertainment news music you name it once we hit um our 5,000 subscriber uh, milestone i'm gonna be giving out a hundred dollar gift card to any random person so make sure that you like you comment put your name introduce yourself let me know that you subscribed let me know that your notification bell is on let's know that you are on with the hod t super squad <laughs> all right sit tight and enjoy so today's topic is going to be about Paul Okoye of the P Square Group. Apparently today he don't blast in twin brother wife Auntie Lola, <laughs> our mommy water, our one and only Yoruba demoness. <laughs> I beg go, man no go. Born the money with my father you take carry they used to send me go school. Uh, but on a more serious note. I'm not talking to say demoness now joko hmm, Nigerian because when I go do a buy album for me now when they give me English crinkon crackon higi haga I beg go hmm, for for my enemy we'll just go and die now from this man go kick bucket I've been seeing a Jerry can I've been a GP tank we person go kick <laughs> yes yeah, so yesterday November 18 was the birthday of the P Square twins Peter and Paul Okoye and apparently the brothers have been feuding for years. After breaking up as a performing duo, making it awkward for their wives to post best birthday messages on social media without having to mention the other twin. Of course, if you know that maybe your husband is feuding with your brother-in-law, there's a bit of awkwardness that's going to go on. Uh, but thank God they are rich and they're not in the same house. Imagine if they're in the same house, the tension would just rise through the roof. Men go crack the roof up safe. Go to the erosion. Ew. Ah, okojaradarada men. Oh, Diego. So, Paul's wife, Anita, and Judo Koye, who is the elder brother, and his wife, Ifi, all avoided any ugly drama by not celebrating the twins on their social media platform so it's better to be safe than sorry just avoid the whole drama uh, but you know our auntie lola omotayo okoye wait someone should com comment down below is lola omotayo related to tanya omotayo uh whiskey's ex baby mama sorry whiskey's ex girlfriend i'm so sorry about that uh because they look alike and they're both you know they're both mixed, half black, half white. So I'm just wondering, and they have the same last maiden name as well. Uh, so, yeah, so she, Peter's wife was left with the unpleasant job of, you know, belling the cat. Apparently, she made a separate post to wish her <laughs> lovey-dovey husband, her tomato joss, according to Flavor, a happy birthday. She made another post appealing to both brothers to bury the hatchet and sue for peace. You know, her post read, hmm, to the twins at Peter P Square at I am King Rudy. Whether you like it or not, you are brothers. You are not only brothers. <laughs> this just remind me of the Bible. Part of the Bible, we talk, say, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall, you know, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. Man, not forget my beatitude. So. so I think she came out to, you know, a, either play the peacemaker role or genuinely she just wanted to pass this message to both of them to get it together and get it straight so she said you're not only brothers you are twins i wish you both a very happy birthday life is short make the best of it respect and love should be sacrosanct <laughs> see english sacrosanct as we get older we should realize that life is precious and time waits for no one. My two cents. Tigbe, tigbe, tigbe. She means her two cents as well, just her piece of advice. But I don't say <laughs> Nigerians, we, 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 read, we read past Cambridge safe. We read past the English people who colonize us. Kung gaga twang gaga. She can't talk, say more blessings upon both your lives in Jesus. He say, Paul then took to his Instagram. Gege, drum roll. 
he took to his Instagram story calling our beloved sister, our Yoruba sister, Auntie Lola, a manipulative woman at almost 50 years of age. Who petty. Talk about petty. Petty. He went further by revealing that he was he hasn't spoken to Lola in four years. Like, think about it, you guys. For you not to speak to your brother, your brother's wife, your sister-in-law. 365 days times four. On our way with Sabima, help me put the calculation down below. I beg. God bless you in advance. <laughs> I haven't spoken to you in four years. So he said he hasn't spoken to her in four years. And then he added, in quote, Every 18th of November, you come out as usual to type sh Ooh, to type shit. Meanwhile, they don't know the evil things you do behind closed doors. Ooh. The irony is that Peter and Paul made better music as the Peace Corps duo than as solo artists. Do you guys agree? Hmm. Let's know. I pray they resolve this their issues ASAP because to be honest, it's actually affecting me. I personally feel it's affecting their brand. It's affecting their reputation. The last time I checked, I think they're like both 39 years of age. So, you know, some people will be like, oh, act your age. But age is not maturity. And at the end of the day, they are men. Men will always be men, right? Um, the ego thing is there. The Nigerian factor is there. Maybe they are cultural as able men, you know? So, let's talk about something. Age difference. Now, people don't even care again as much as before about age. And obviously, Peter is the one that knows what he saw in Auntie Lola for him to, you know, go for her. But from the look of things, obviously he loves her. They've been together for like over 12 years, I think. I think they started dating since like maybe 2005 or 2006, 2007. I can't remember. Uh, the same, uh, also Paul has been with Anita for a long, very long time. So I respect their relationship timeline. Not everyone can hold a relationship nowadays. Most people just hook up and that's it. They don't run. They don't, they don't, you know, suffer for to be that. But they stuck together. They got married despite all odds. There were speculations that maybe because she's older than him, uh, they feel maybe she's manipulating him. I, I don't think so, though. I don't think that's the case. But there was even a time that Peter commented and said, ah, that if even if she's manipulating him, that he will remain her woman for life. <laughs> Which is pretty romantic, though. It's cute. Um, of course, their mom, Peter and Paul's mom, before she passed away, apparently I heard that she was not in support of the relationship uh, I don't know the reason why, to be honest. And maybe she took that reason to the grave. Or maybe she actually told the brothers, Jude and Co. Maybe. Only God knows. But um, from the look of things, she wasn't in support of the marriage. Obviously, it looked like Jude and <laughs> obviously King Rudy, Paul, was, you know, not in support. Our outspoken Igbo fella. <laughs> it was just, not, I don't think he, he liked that right from the start. But obviously, love is powerful, right? And there's nothing you can do about it. Even from the traditional wedding, you could tell there was just a funny vibe there. But I love the sisters-in-law. She and Anita, they're cool as beans, you know. At least to the outside world, everything looks okay. Um, so maybe the age difference plays a role. Maybe the fact that she's mixed, half black, half white, plays a role. Who knows? On your chat, but she's fair. So, you know, that's like a thing for a Nigerian man, unfortunately. Or fortunately, anyhow, you won't put on them. <laughs> Abego, our yellow sisters and our dark skin sisters. I'm not coming for any of you. I love both of you with the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the love of God. Mm. So maybe it could also be the tribal difference. Maybe they wanted him to be with an Igbo girl. But Anita, I think Anita's for, um, um, former name was Isama or Sima or Isima. I stand to be corrected. But I think she was either, she's probably from the south or something. Maybe Benue or something. I don't know. I don't think she, like Anita is like an Igbo girl. But I think they accepted her. So I don't know what the issue is. Maybe it's the fact that Lola is mixed. She's older. And she, she, you know, she, she's Yoruba. Maybe tribalism plays a role. Who knows? But if anybody knows this, uh, if anybody really has any tea or any juice or any just comment down below. Let, let, let's know what's really popping and going down. Eh? What's popping like a popcorn? Let us know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it, my people. Though. I hope they settle their differences. I hope everything is okay. It's really not fun for family members to be fighting, especially when money is involved and businesses are at risk. I love the fact that Naramali said he does not know Peter and Paul. 
all he knows is P square. He doesn't know who Peter and Paul is, which is a nice move. All he knows is P square. Um, David Doe also commented, I think he left a comment on Twitter or so, stating that like people that are congratulating them separately, they are weak. Something like that, Sha, saying that like, don't divide the brothers that they should come together. But you know how David Doe is? David Doe no send. Eh? Okotioma, baby. How are you about Devon? Ah, Davido, Davido. God bless you now. Eh? Obi, you. I won't make you feel your call. She could well less her. Or she did come down. Nefeli or Nefeda. Which one, sir? She did go up or come down. <laughs> so, yeah, the video just commented and ran away like nothing happened. And he was like, I beg. This is just how I feel. But I feel delicious. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys comment down below. Let me know. Uh, as previously stated... I just like the fact that I'm not editing. I'm not going to edit this thing. I just want to come to you guys raw. You know, it's a rant. This is my rant. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, subscribe, like, comment down below. Turn on your notification bell. I'm going to be giving out a $100 uh, 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 prize. It could come in form of a gift card. It could be cash. It could be money transfer. Comment down below. Subscribe. Share. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their enemies. You know, <laughs> to tell their classmates, to tell their bosses, all those people that will now they say they sleep for work twenty four seven. Tell them to subscribe to our channel. It will keep them up. <laughs> I beg, you, I know they teach you about it, no matter no fire from your work. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>